How's up, everybody? My name is Viola. I am the host of the Straight Versus System here on Transcended. On this channel, we talk about DID content in general, as well as other general mental health content, LGBT content, gaming, vlogs. We do a large variety of things here. Today's video is another system video. Another inner world video, I should say. The section I'm going to talk about today is a place called Mount Ravage. And the name is as brutal as it sounds. It is a large mountain range that is actually just outside of one of the areas that I talk about a lot, being Starlight Plaza. Getting there is a little tricky. So as always, let's start with Starlight Plaza. Notice my hand is different for this one, because we're going that way. I know, it seems dumb, I'm sorry. But, um... You start in Starlight Plaza, you go to Old S Plaza, Old Starlight Plaza, I just call it S Plaza because it's easier, which is the older version, not really older version of the town, it's like the older, the oldest part of it that's been there longer than the more modern area. But uh, you go through there, not a lot to see, I'll talk about it in another video, and you go out a different gate that's near the side, I think it would be near the southern side of Old Starlight Plaza. You go that direction, and you take a winding path towards a mount towards the mountainous areas. You run into a lot of pine trees. It's a very beautiful place. It's very green. It's very you can smell the pine according to Serenity because she lives on Mount Ravage and she has to walk through there a lot. She has mentioned that there are of course some animals, but in general they gotta keep to themselves. It is a very sunny place, it's very nice, but the further you go up the mountain range, the worse the weather becomes. Hence the name. This mountain is notoriously hard to hike. It is very hard to climb, it is risky to try to get up there without proper safety gear, including warm clothing and a backpack, you know. And this is an info that I was given years ago by Serenity, and I've written down to kind of remember it because it is such a unique sort of place and there are dangers with this mountain as any mountain would be dangerous I'm not certain why Serenity lives up here I believe it has to do with her being a Yukilna which is of course a Japanese snow woman she likes cold areas it's kind of her thing she has a very specific path she'll take up the mountain that's a little bit safer which she recommends that I do as well if I'm ever in the system for whatever reason. And she says that to the rest of my others as well. I don't really have like specific directions for this one. It's just very like, it's very windy and there's a lot of different ways and it would take forever to explain. However, in a summit of the mountain, where there's obviously still a lot of wind and snow, lives Serenity. That's where her house is. She lives on the mountain. Lulu likes to make a joke that she likes to look down on people so she's up there. The two of them do not really get along that much. Um, we're working on that. We're going to fix that eventually. Hopefully. But anyway, she lives up there in a very nice looking cabin. Which, unsurprisingly, I want a cabin, but not on a mountain. Hers is more like a ski lodge, though. I think I, could, I should explain it that way. She has pretty much everything she needs to live comfortably. And, of course, she doesn't get very many visitors. It's a very hard hike to get up there. That being said, she does get to enjoy her favorite kind of weather, which is snow. And when the nights are clear, which are not, which is not very often, but sometimes they are, you can see auroras, which are absolutely gorgeous. Her house is relatively large. It has a hot spring, which I think is kind of hilarious because she generally doesn't like using it, according to her. Um, she does have various rooms for anyone she invites over, which, as stated, she does not get many visitors. And she has made comments that maybe I should start renting this out, but how would I get people up here? It's kind of that sort of thing. And honestly, it kind of suits her. I feel like I sneeze, sorry. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. I'm still coming off the cusp with this stupid sinus cold. But anyway, 
that's pretty much all there is to really say about Serenity's house. There's not much to it. I think she does have like a small garden where she grows vegetables, but beyond that, not a whole lot. Now, as for Mount Ravage itself, why would I have this in my system? Why is it here? Honestly, I believe it's just like anything else. It's there for a reason. And it's, a, it's where Serenity lives. And honestly, I am a big fan of mountainous ranges. I like mountains, rivers. I like places that are outside. Which is ironic, considering I'm almost always inside at this point. But, um, I do like to hike. I miss the Colorado Mountains. I used to love going on day trips up there. And it does remind me a little bit of that, but what it reminds me more of is actually Mount McKinley in Alaska. It's very large. It is a beautiful place. I don't know. Like, the whole thing just kind of screams, this is your brain. You know, the, like, you did this without realizing it kind of deal. And the way Inner Worlds, I, from how I understand it, is we have some influence on them, which is very interesting. But uh, this was actually one of the very first places that I learned about within my system. So, that's pretty much all there is to Mount Ravage. I don't think there's ever really that much of a change in weather of that place. It's always snowy on top, kind of green near the bottom. And, yep, that's how I got for it. So, anyway... Thank you so much for watching, I greatly appreciate you stopping by, I always do. If you like what we do here, like, comment, subscribe, all that good kind of stuff, it really helps us out a lot, especially with this algorithm, it is a total mess. And remember, you are beautiful, you're bad, and you're important, you are very, very, very important to me and everyone up here, and I will see you in the next video that I make. So until then, goodbye.